That's a 2.5. There are a lot of these back here. Yeah, I think you should take the four off. Well, I guess the front two. Well, I hope this doesn't void my warranty. I don't see anything back here that says no user serviceable parts inside. Right. Well, I think you just have to take these cool. You take out the final one and it <laughs> drops. Covers popping. See, I'm guessing there's four up front. I think you're good. Just repeat the process. Might have to just loosen the front or loosen the back port. Um, I don't think you have to take them all the way out. I would even do the front right here. Just take a little pressure off. thought this would get this romantic. Yeah. Last time we were in here together you were yelling at me. <laughs> You'd never try to put a ceiling up with this dude. Oh come on! And there goes the warranty. What the, what the actual frick? Come on. Come on another you got this. Here. This is what happens when I let you use the tools. Yeah. Just take these two screws out. And then these two. And then loosen that one. Hey, this is how teardowns work. Yeah. Not worried about the teardown. This is what the YouTube viewers pay for. Oh, do they? Yes. We do this so they don't have to. And we show them why they probably shouldn't have. Yeah. All right, you got this? You got this? Holy frick. Oh, my gosh. Screw. Yeah, good to know. It may never work again, but... Hey, there's no proof it ever worked to begin with. <laughs> DOA, huh? Yeah. I have no idea what happened to it. Dead on D-O-R-A. <laughs> dead on reassembly. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Alright. We got this. Oh my gosh, if this doesn't come apart. You want me to get in there? No. Goodness. Because you'll just end up drilling a hole in the wall. I'm not sure. Colby thinks for some reason I like to drill holes all over his wall. And I mean, I may have put a couple hundred thousand in here, but that's that's it. Are you serious? You can't get in. It's like four gosh. knots. You got to take them all out. Here. No, you're just doing it wrong. Whose laser is this? It's your laser, so you can be as lazy as you want. Lazy? You want me to throw it on the ground? Dude, I would have had... Your ability to get in is not very impressive. Yeah. At least they know what I look like. <laughs> look, I cannot handle that many women stalkers. Women watch my channel, and I cannot cause them to stumble. I just saw a meme the other day where it was like, 
what my wife thinks happens when I walk out of the house without my ring on. <laughs> yes. And it was like the guy walked out and there's like all these girls <laughs> and they're like, hey. Yes, yeah. I got my ring on. Yeah. Yeah, we both have our rings on. Yeah. Not to each other. Don't want to be beating them off with a stick here. There's like another three over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is. So I just want to say that if you're doing this in real life, this is about a 15 second operation. Hold on a second, I gotta switch hands. I've been holding the camera for so long. There we go. Whew. Oh, gosh, dang. All right. Yes. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at All it. All right, we're gonna turn this electric part over to another maker. All right. All right, so here we are inside the laser, and I am very happy to see that we've got Meanwell branded power supplies. Uh, we've got a Meanwell LRS 45048, which I'm guessing is a 48 volt power supply. Uh, we've got another one down here that I'm not sure if it's Meanwell or not. Uh, doesn't actually say the voltage there. It looks like it's adjustable voltage, so they must be doing something a little custom there. We've got up here, we've got another little Meanwell power supply. I would guess that's 12 volts just off the top of my head. Um, up here we have the main brain box of the thing, and this is a BJJCZ uh, controller. You can see you've got an. You can see there's an Altera Max V, which I'm guessing is an FPGA um, controlling this whole thing. So it looks like it's got some RAM over here. Uh, we've got just some some random power and control things. Uh, so looks fairly standard. Uh, this is going to control all of your motors, all of your steppers, all that kind of stuff. Um, then down here we have what looks like is um, is some drivers for uh, more of the steppers and stuff like that. So we've got a micro step driver and uh, these little NEMA stepper motors need to be driven to very tiny steps to get the accuracy the laser needs. And then uh, this I believe is a rotary controller. So what this does, this allows you to um, hook a rotary up to it that can spin in concert with the stepping of this and that'll allow you to do things like rotary on cups and things like that. So uh, overall looks pretty standard. Um, Does this look familiar? Because, <laughs> because my fiber, yes, they sold it to me and said that it could do the rotary, but it didn't have one of these in here. Yeah, so so I gonna... need to take a picture of this and this so that way I know what my steps per rotation for yes. my rotary are. Yeah, so to give you a little context here, this box was supposed to be inside of this laser. There's a control box for it down there on the floor. Way bigger box missing that part. And so uh, because we didn't have this box, we had to do a lot of work to get the rotary hooked up on that one over there. Um, looking at the thing overall, it has standard Stacon connectors. Um, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of shrink wrap and stuff like that. There's some, <laughs> looks like electrical tape right there on the fuse. There is an internal fuse here, which is good but it isn't very easily accessible. So um, if you do turn this thing on, find out that there's no power, there is a fuse in here. So you need to pay attention to that. It's only this many screws. So. <laughs> it's only that many screws. It would take a normal person, you know, normal person two or three minutes, Colby, you know, a lot longer than that. Um, so it looks like we've got some kind of, what is that, like a power, oh, an EMI filter. So there's they're doing some uh, electromagnetic interference filtering here on the power. And I'm guessing the reason for that was that they built this thing and random things were firing randomly. So they had this extra EMI filtering. Uh, overall, it looks good. The crimp connectors themselves look good. Everything looks good. Uh, like I said, no wire wrapping or anything like that, but the, the wire is tied up well, crimped well. Everything, everything looks really good. I'm impressed. That's the quality that you expect when you buy with Hoatian laser yep. and you go through Pascal. Yep. They don't call him the laser man for no reason. That's right. So the laser man made sure that we got something that isn't going to burn the house down. In what, five days from China? Five days from China. 